All right, this is one quick one v one against this kid uh, called Rickolson. He's like a C one C two. He's all right. Uh, obviously, this is a little this this is a bit away from the switch one uh, best of three. Obviously, this is gonna show what happens when if I go someone a bit lower ranked. See what how it goes. If you keep the same playstyle that I played against Swish against someone that's a bit lower. So again, and this is me feeling myself a bit more obviously. So here I go for kickoff. I win it. Go for ceiling. Confidence is there and a good ceiling shot. Now, obviously, again, like I said, you can notice Octane way more mechier than me being in Fennec. Way more confident. I go for a lot more. It also means I tend to mess up more, but it also is a good learning curve because if I can get more mechy in the Fen, uh, in the Octane, then I can obviously start implementing that kind of consistency in the Fennec. I tried to make a, a decent play there, wasn't the best, but it's what it is. I let him hit it up pitch, I go for corner, stay on shattered defense. Let him say, ooh, bad save by me actually. Good shot by him. Now, standing kickoff. Good stuff, win this. Obviously, again, I flip for mid, but off target, so I just take my time again. No need to rush, let him hit, clear it to the side, watch for double, he doesn't double, I clear it to the side wall. Go again for the mid boost that doesn't spawn, so I see on the defense. I shoot it quick, he can't save it in time, so it's fine. Second goal, four minutes left, static kick off again, beautiful. Should win it, you can tell if you do a good kick off by the way you speed flip, and the way, the way if you see you get the speed flip. And also the way you hit the ball when the opponent also hits the ball. Unlucky read for, for Colson. It's a free goal for me. Now you can see, using a bit more mech, a bit more mech, a bit more consistency. I, can, I look a bit more confident, try to be a bit speedy. But yeah. Yeah. Different, different uh, play styles. Obviously, different, different play styles work against different players. So you got to always have different kind of play styles. Uh, the playstyle I used against Switch was just trying to not mess up, use a bit of consistency, use mech here and there, but honestly didn't really use much in the end. In terms of uh, flashy mechanics, I did use mech, but not the flashy ones. Here I'm using a lot of flipping to be able to uh, keep on the ball. I flip forward, so it's a free goal for him. It's 2-3. Now, now here I'm definitely throwing, but it is what it is. I'm still in the lead, still got to lock in, still got to focus. Wait for his touch. He messes it up, so I just make a flip forward. Capitalize that the ball he's given to me. Try to get a bump on him. Also try to pop the ball, but I couldn't. I missed slightly. Wait for his touch. I'm just gonna catch that. He makes a good dunk on me there. Still get past him, so I take my time. Cut around the ball. Uh, I'm into a bounce draw. Now I dribble it. Get a flick. Decent flick. Clears it to the side though with grace. Make a save, make a second touch. Good control by me. Mess it up a little bit there. Obviously, I wanted to control it fully there, but I don't. But I take my time, take it to the other wall. Now I'm up on ceiling. Got the reset. Uh, got the reset musty. Or ceiling reset musty. Uh, take corner boost. Take my time. Use wave dash. Take more time. Cut around the ball. Messed up my touch. I think I'm lagging a little bit because I've uh, actually like while I'm recording this. Actually, uh, I put my resolution up, so it's it's so it's so the the screen quality is better. But yeah, the I play are uh, on the lowest resolution, so I think 1260 by no no 12 yeah I think it's 1260 by or 1280 by 720. It's really low, uh, and yeah I get around. You can see I'm getting like around 60 50 FPS. It's it's alright, but. Obviously, it is very glitchy here and there, and obviously my ping is horrible, but it is what it is. Uh, I'll take it. I'm fine with it. Here I set up for an Andrew Wall. It was very weak, but I just muscle it through. 1 minute 40, 42. I fake kickoff here, and he's been falling for a lot, so, you know, I don't really have to do much about it. Pre-flip, beat him to it. Go straight for mid, so I can get more boost. Now I pre-jump this, because he's already up. He misses, and I hit, hit the free open goal. Now, 
obviously I'm still feeling myself the way I'm playing, but you know, still gotta take my time. Fake the goal. Easy save. Now faking is also good because even if they hit it on target, that that is a decent shot. You can um, you can you know you can just end up just uh, having to learn to you know defend hard shots that that when you fake. So so like it is good to be on defense. Uh, here, make a good saying shots. Take my time. It's a good shot by me. Fake again. <laughs> Once again, again. See, I can just you know learn how to stay on defense. Learn to take it back up. Get, learn to get good counter attacks. Uh, I take my time. Just keep the control on the ball. I don't go for mid because I think I'm going to hook on this. I try to go to the ceiling. It didn't work out. So I go straight down. You see the way I uh, landed on the ground that where the where the lo I chose the location where I was going to land. I wanted to land in front of him. So I aim my car you know in the right direction. Use my double jump in the right direction as well, which is down. To get to the ground as quick as I can, get an easy musty, good save by him, try to use recoveries, wave dash, good, try to get back in time, I think he's going to take his time to set up for wall, he does, he messes up, so I'm just going to take advantage of that and rush him, I think I'll fake here, be nice to him, 16 seconds left, two goals, I feel bad now that he's messed up for the third time, I think I leave him here, yeah, nice, but yeah, you can see how I'm locking out this game. Let's see what he can do. Unlucky man, he misses. I take my time. Go on defense again, let him do his thing in zero seconds, and that's game. So you can see in that game, again, four shots, six to goal, four saves, and I trolled a lot, but I still locked it out with some, you know, being mechanical, I could still lock it out, but again, you don't have to be mechanical to get lots of goals, because you see, I only scored six goals. Two of them were actually mechanical. The other weren't really that mechanical. So, so it's not all about mechanics. But mechanics can get you some goals if when you really, really need them. That's all I would say to know. All right, last one v one video for today, versing Cialibu, peak uh, C three player, high C three player. Uh, he's around D3, D2 in ones right now. He's a good player. I told him to use Fennec for this game. Learned, told him to uh, learn to use Fennec and Octane as his main. As he is actually a breakout main. And it's surprising by me. Because, you know, to be a main without ever using the Octane and Fennec is not good. Because I think you can progress a lot faster using Octane or Fennec. You can use Breakout like he wants to, but I would recommend still using Fennec or Octane because they're the better hitboxes. So hopefully he does better in this game. Um, but here, here I get two good shots already. 30 seconds in, I'm up by two. You know, I'm not going to stop the Rampage that I'm on right now. Beat him on kickoff. I think he messed up his speed flip. Here I take it to ceiling, made a good touch, use my boost upwards. Jump back downwards and get a good ceiling shot. That was good. All right, next goal. So you, as you can see, that was a really good shot, I guess. Uh, it was very controlled, obviously. It's a good shot, but it's really controlled. And that just takes practice. You have to just get used to you know, being decent on the ceiling. And you, the, the better you get on ceiling, on air, you become way more dangerous, way more. Because I've seen players that are so, uh, they're, they're like, maybe not, you know, they're, they're similar to me on the ground. Even if they're slightly worse, like they're around the same level, right? But they can't do the same things in air, and they need that. Like, exactly like this kind of moment. Like, if they can't do things like this when they need to, then they're going to struggle. And if they are in those kind of situations, they're not going to be able to save them. They're not going to be able to, you know, like, let's say they're doing it in that situation. If they miss that goal, they're going to concede. Like, I had to score in that situation, because if I miss that, I'm in big trouble unless I recover. But yeah, good goal by me. Uh, nothing to really say about, you know, it's a double tap. Obviously, it was really high, so I have to aim my car downwards. You can notice, uh, obviously, if you want to go back in the video, you can notice how I use my air roll to, you know, point the, the tip of my car. So it's pointing downwards, so when the ball connects with my car, if I want to get into logistics, then obviously, the way I pointed my car with air roll, the ball's going to hit that, and it'll, you know, go in that direction. Very simple stuff. It's not really too confusing. It's just hard to do in-game. And that's how I score. Um... He made a good hook shot there, so it's first goal. Three minutes left, uh, he gets his first goal, 
and now I can, you know, recoup and now recalibrate for the, the rest of the game. I'm up by three now, I can reset, now get back into the swing of things. Scored a kickoff goal, and when I mean recalibrate and recoup, when so when I'm up by like maybe when I'm up like by like three or four goals, but then they get you know score the first one, I need to make sure you know I, you know I lock back in, refresh after their goal, see what I did wrong, and then you know get back into the swing of things because because they you know I don't want them to score the next goal. I want to keep I want to start scoring like I because if I let them score that goal, if I concede again, then they're obviously going to have a goal streak. They're going to keep scoring. So I got to, you know, I got to, I got to counter that with a goal. I got to keep scoring on my end, so that I can, you know, push that mental down and I, you know, build my confidence back up. Because uh, with pros, especially like if they're in the lead, they're way more confident than when they're not in the lead. So that, that that's that's what I'm trying to do. Obviously, when you're in the lead, you play more confident. When you score, you're more confident. So so yeah, because you know you're in the advantage position you have the more dominant position you're in the lead you can do what you want they have to you know score at the end of the day so they need to do what's right they need to be on the attack here again reset to the side it wasn't strong at all but it's fine i uh overthrow him i dominate him here taking on wall get a reset he clears to the side that's fine i go on defense wait for him Thought I had everything covered, I didn't, but I got very lucky that it went into post. Here, but he bumps me, which is a good bump. I miss mid, which is actually really bad, but it's fine. I try to conserve whatever beast I get, which isn't really much. Isn't actually nothing, but again, I was using my awareness to see where he, when he was going to shoot. Again, even here, I used awareness. Get a good 50 against him. Now, here, I go for side wall redirect. It's a bit slightly off target but it puts him on defense i tell early now this was very bad i get bump on him which is good but i had no boost and i can't save it so it's unlucky um obviously i wish i could execute on that side wall redirect but it's what it is i fake here i think he falls for it yep so i make a touch use my wave dash and it should be a free goal now i think it's slightly off target so yeah it's <laughs> slightly off target so it's what it is now, I knew he was going to try 50 that, so I, you know, I hit it early. Let's try to keep it on my car. Try to take it to the side, but I actually mess up. I keep faking it. Take my time. I'm still a lot of possession, so I can take my time. I keep taking my time. Take it around him. He tries to, you know, speed up, take control of the play, but he can't. He tries to flick. I 50 with his touches. And I take it to wall. Now, I think he's staying on. He can't now, though. I undercut him again and slow down his play. I'm on ceiling. I take it around him, but it's off target. So I go to go to his corner. I try to bump him, but he cuts me in. And yeah, in this play, I think I obviously committed way too hard going in corner. You know, I got way too comfortable with the position I was in, and I can see. So it's what it is. 20 seconds left, 5-3. It's obviously very winnable for me, but he can also win. Uh, it's also winnable for him because he, he can get kickoff goals here. Try to get a reset around him. I don't, so I just have to leave it. Take it back on defense. Get my boost. Pre-flip into it. Try to flip. Now, that was a really bad decision, so he cuts it, takes his time, and gets a free goal. Now, it's down to the wire. Four seconds, but I know in my head I'm still in the same mental state from the start of the game. Easy kickoff, and in, the, in this position, I keep it up like anybody would. Second touch. Now, now here I got his corners beast. I make a good recovery, and I can put it down. Uh, again, I lock out the game. 5 4 was close, but at the same time, it wasn't so close when it came to school line. You know, even if even if uh, he had four goals, I had five. You know, I didn't have to put in as many saves, I put the shots on him. And even, again, in terms of using mechs, you don't have to use mechs. Like, a time and time again, I'm using mechs in this game, and it's just not necessary. Like, yes, I got a good ceiling shot. Yes, I got a good double tap, but it's not really worth it when, if you have to win and ranked. Obviously, if it's prime match, it's cash, do your thing, have fun. But other than that, if it's ranked, you know, play your game right. If you get the chance to use mechs, use it, but make sure you can execute it on it. And if you can, well then, GG's.